Hare Krishna. So Arjuna has requested Krishna to reveal his universal form. And on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, accepting Arjuna's request, Krishna is displaying his universal form. And who is seeing all this? Sanjaya is able to see all this. And Sanjaya is describing what is happening on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. To whom? To the blind man, the Dhritarashtra. And now Sanjaya has described in three verses till now what has happened on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. That is shloka number 9, 10 and 11. Now he continues to describe what is Arjuna seeing. So let's see this in shloka number 12 and 13. Devi Surya Sahasrasya Bhaved Yugapad Uthita Yadi Bahaha Sadrishi Sasya Bhasas Tasya Mahatmanaha Tatrai Kastam Jagat Kritsnam Pravi Bhaktam Manekadha Apashad Deva Devasya Shari Re Pandavastada. So here Sanjay is describing in Shloka number 12, he says, Yadi, if Divi Surya Sahasrasya, if hundreds and thousands of suns, Bhaved Yugapad Uttita, if they rise at once in the sky, Baha Sadrashi Sasyad, the effulgence, the radiance that is created by those suns, might resemble Bhasas Tasya Mahatmanaha. Whom? Whom will it resemble? The effulgence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead that Arjuna is seeing in front of him. So here, actually seeing one sun itself is so difficult. We cannot directly see you know, the sun. Now just imagine hundreds and thousands of suns in the sky. How much light will be there? A person cannot uh, maybe look in the sky, look, uh, look uh, to the sky, what's happening. You know, it's very difficult. And here what it is said, here he is saying might resemble. He is not saying exactly hundreds and thousands of suns. He is saying might resemble. Maybe little bit it will come close to the effulgence that is coming from the body of the Lord in the universal form. So here this comparison which is given here in this particular shloka is actually called as a metaphor, an utpreksha or a poetic fancy where something which is close to that particular description is given. So here Sanjay, he couldn't get anything else because now this see, the scenario itself which Sanjay is describing is, uh, is not something which is reality. Hundreds and thousands of suns at one time, rising at one time. But then he is giving this analogy or giving this example so that the Trastra can make out little bit that what was the effulgence coming from the body of the universal form of the Lord. Here it is said, what Arjuna saw was indescribable, yet Sanjay is trying to give a mental picture of that great revelation to Dhritarashtra. Neither Sanjaya nor Dhritarashtra was present, but Sanjaya, by the grace of Vyasa, could see whatever happened. Now, as we all know, there was a television that was displayed in the heart of Sanjaya, and Sanjaya could see what was happening on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. And this happened only by the mercy of his guru, Vyasadeva. So Vyasadeva was very pleased with his disciple Sanjaya and he blessed Sanjaya that you will be able to see what is happening on the battlefield of Kurukshetra and you can describe it to your master here, that is Dhritarashtra. Now he continues, he continues speaking in Shloka number 13, he says, Apashyad Deva Devasya Sharire Pandavastada Tada, at that time, Pandava, which Pandava are we talking about? Who is that? Arjuna. Shari apashya deva devasya sharire. So Arjuna could see <clears throat> in the sharire, in the body of the Lord, the universal form. And how was this universal form? Tatraika tatra ekastham jagat kritsnam pravi bhaktam manekada. And the universal form that he saw had unlimited expansions of the universe, unlimited. And all this at one place, Ekastham, situated at one place. And Pravi Bhaktam Manekada. And they're divided into many, many thousands. Now, firstly, we have not seen entire universe. Mm -hmm. Little bit, whatever we can see around, whatever limited capacity we have. Especially when we travel in airplane, 
and there from top when we see down so we we could make out some little bit of vastness of the planet but then here is the talk of universe entire universe and here it is said that in sitting at one place unlimited expansion of the universe and that to divided into many many uh, unlimited expansions or thousands of expansions now this is a very uh, difficult thing to comprehend what was actually arjuna seeing maybe by uh, <clears throat> devotees don't desire but still if krishna reveals to us then we will be able to see but then just comprehending what was arjuna seeing what is meant by thousands of universes and all that is very difficult hmm. here it is said the word tatra is very significant it indicates that both arjuna and krishna were sitting on the chariot when arjuna saw the universal form this is the wonderful thing it's not that they went to some other place there itself on the chariot which is there in between the two armies on the battlefield of kurukshetra there arjuna saw the universal form and who showed krishna and where was krishna sitting with arjuna on the uh, on the chariot and then here it's given others on the battlefield could not see this form because krishna gave the vision only to arjun arjun could see in the body of krishna many thousands of planets is a very important point there is something called as divine vision obviously we understood that arjuna already had a divine vision and that's how he was able to take darshan sakshat darshan of krishna and for the universal vision krishna gave for the universal form krishna gave a different vision which was subordinate to the divine vision which arjuna already had it's a very nice thing to understand that only when krishna gives a vision we'll be able to see the truth as it is when he gives us that divine vision we'll be able to see things as it is as of now our vision is covered our eyes are lusted we are completely filled with anarthas and that is the reason we cannot see we cannot see things as they are even when we go to take darshan of the lord we cannot actually see the lord there max to max we'll see a stone or a wood or you know, something like that but then we don't see the lord himself present there but then a pure devotee who has attained krishna who is liberated he has got a vision by which he can see the lord you know, what lord is saying and he can perceive the lord he can see the lord he can also hear what lord wants lord speaks to him when we go to different places different uh, holy places like brindavan mayapur and other places so when pure devotees go there who have the divine vision when they go they can actually see that radha and krishna they are still performing their nitya leela in those wonderful places but then when we go what do, what do we see we see some stone and some garbage and this and that and we commit offenses and we come back <laughs> but then when a pure devotee sees he sees various things so this we can easily make out what happened to arjuna on the battlefield of kurukshetra we can easily make out because you now a person who has got the vision he can see things as they are and people who are not having that vision like all of us we cannot see things as they are but the best thing is this vision which has got completely blocked by the lust by the uh, by the anarthas that is there in our heart can be easily cleaned by intense chanting of hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare when we intensely keep chanting remembering shri guru remembering gauranga remembering krishna begging and praying to them what happens this vision becomes clear it's like cataract you know when someone has cataract they cannot see they cannot see things as they are so when cataract surgery is done then they can see things as they are yes similarly when we chant the holy name of the lord a surgery happens here and in that surgery the cataract you know the lust like stuff that is there that is removed all the anarthas are removed and then the person can see things as they are hmm. now just imagine getting sakshat darshan of krishna seeing the past times of krishna as it is you know if we get that vision we can go to brindavan and see that how krishna is stealing butter even now we can see that how radha and krishna are performing different past times we can see all this still happening still happening that's called as nitya leela so when when we see all this what else we need in life then <laughs> life will be very adventurous at that time so this vision is very important and krishna gives when he becomes very pleased with us here he was very pleased with arjuna he gave a different vision by which he was able to see the universal form but the other people on the battlefield they couldn't see and here it is said 
about different planets. As we learn from Vedic scriptures, there are many universes and many planets. Some of them are made of earth, some are made of gold, some are made of jewels, some are very great, some are not so great, etc. Sitting on his chariot, Arjuna could see all these, but no one could understand what was going on between Arjuna and Krishna. So, our limited understanding of the universe is, oh, all the planets are made up of earth. I mean, the substance earth. But then, here we understand from the Vedic scriptures, that it's not only one universe, we have many, many universes. From each pore of the body of Mahavishnu, one universe is coming. One Brahmanda is coming out. And each Brahmanda has got different, different types of planets. So, as it is said, some are made of gold, some are made of jewels, some are made of earth, and so on and so forth. So, this makes it very clear for all of us that how Vedic scriptures are complete in itself because they are given by Krishna, who is the creator of this entire creation. And when it comes to us, you know, who are Baddha Jeevas, who are stuck in the cycle of birth and death, we cannot understand anything by our own uh, you know, mental concoction. Max to max, we can see something around and you know, make some conclusions. But the absolute conclusions are given only in the Vedic scriptures. So we are very fortunate. All of us were very fortunate. We are getting this opportunity to explore the Vedic scriptures, especially Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam. And we are so fortunate that we have natural faith in understanding all this. This is again the mercy of Krishna, which we all have. So it's very important to meditate on this, that since Arjuna got the vision, he was able to see all this, where? Sitting at one place. Now, after having said all these things, Sanjaya goes on describing. How can he stop describing? It's a universal form, huge form. And he has started describing and he'll continue throughout the chapter. So let's see some more description in the next video. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna,